Now, we're also getting breaking news, Rainy, that the National People's Party has expressed readiness to work with a new government or chief minister if the situation arises. Now, N. Biren Singh-led NDA government might face some political furor as the National People's Party or the NPP has expressed readiness to work with a new government or even a new chief minister after the party decided to withdraw support for the N. Biren Singh-led NDA government. Now, viewers do note that he stated that under the current government, under Singh's leadership that is, the government had failed to curtail the growing unrest in Manipur. The spate of mob violence has increased in Imphal, as you saw some time back with the visuals coming in. This is following the six people who were abducted and taken hostage from the Jiribam area and led to armed forces rushing to the site to take stock of the violence that has erupted. Now, on the political front, the National People's Party, or the NPP, has expressed readiness to work with a new government or a new chief minister after the party decided to withdraw its support for the N. Biren Singh-led NDA government. This is definitely going to be a setback for the current government in Manipur with these comments coming in. In fact, the NPPs, they have stated that the current government under Singh's leadership had failed to curtail the growing unrest in Manipur as we are seeing. Let's listen in what Biren Singh had to say on the whole issue. Even as the situation in Manipur continues to remain on the edge, the national president of NPP, Conrad Sangma, has written to BJP national president, J.P. Netta, withdrawing support from the N. Biren Singh-led NDA government in Manipur. NPP will continue to be a part of NDA, but not any longer in the state of Manipur. On this broadcast, I am joined by National Vice President of NPP and former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, Mr. Joy Kumar. Uh, sir, I would like to come to you. What is the stand of your party now? You have decided to withdraw support. Yeah, we have decided that the further because it, there does not seem any in the, any glimpse of normalcy being restored in the state with this present government. That's the thing. On the other hand, things are going from bad to worse. That is the, the thing. But this does not mean, I'll say that, this does not mean that the party is not ready to help whichever the government, that is the BJP government and the BN or and, and anybody else, if they want our assistance in restoring normalcy in the state in whatever form. In fact, since I have been the DGP Manipur in the very turbulent time, they may like to take benefit of my experience. But if that comes, the party will definitely be, be provide the assistance. That is there, but that's for the government to decide. To decide. And uh, we'll see on our own as a party standing for the state of Manipur and for the people, welfare of the, uh, the, uh, the people, will make all our efforts to restore, on our own, to restore normalcy in the state. We have suggested a few things in our memorandum to, uh, to, uh, to uh, Amit Saji in the month of May last year, after the incident took place, May 3rd incident took place, in which we have suggested things that Confidence building measures be taken. Uh, I mean, what for my tea as well as the cookies? Uh, there is a growing demand from, from within the BJP also for the removal of the chief minister. What is your take on that, sir? No, I, would not, I would not like to make any comment on that. I mean, as I said, I would not like to make any comment. It is This demand has been there, and the, and the, the fact that we have also indicated that she have Behind that government, we have no confidence in it. That's why we're withdrawing. So that itself, in a way, expresses what our stand is. That is there. But it is for the, the, the... We are not part of the party or BJP party. So, I mean, we are in no position to either suggest that BNB be removed or this be, be, be placed or do this thing, that thing. You know, it is no, but, the, but since you are a stakeholder in the NDA, 
here in Manipur. That's why I'm asking. That's all. what that we have said that things cannot remain in this manner. So do something which can bring about a change in the situation. And that's all that I can say. So, uh, Congress president of uh, Manipur, Megasandra, has also stated today evening that he is ready for uh, to resign if the people of Manipur wants to give a fresh mandate. What is your take on that? That is true. That, 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 as far as our party is concerned, we are ready to, to face any fresh mandate and that will be ready also. That is there. But that is. Uh, that is, uh, we are not here, I mean, even if we ask whether we can bring it into effect, that is doubtful. I mean, let it be decided, it will have to be decided by the BJP center, central government, I mean, to see whether things are totally hopeless, and if they think that there has to be a change, and if the change is by going for a fresh mandate, yeah. that's up to them. But I don't know whether that will be, will be feasible, that will be there or not. Since why should, for me, I'll say that why should the BJP go for that? Because they are still having, if they can sort out the internal conflict, they have got a comfortable majority. So I don't think that is a, the Congress may be saying that because they are, their number is even less than our number. Mm -hmm. We are seven, ours is seven, that's only five. Maybe because of, Mr.